Maka dia bunuh Kapten Askar pun berontak pula Eww. Wayang kulit Or shadow puppetry Has been performed in Malaysia For the past 500 years So what's Darth Vader doing in it? You're going to want to ask these guys <laughs> My name is Muhammad Daim bin Osman, also known as Pa Daim. In Peperangan Bintang, the characters that we use are Sang Kalaveda, Putrilia, Sipilong, Artu, Pulobala Empire, Aska Pobrontak. The first time I watched Pak Daim perform, I was actually blown away. He has this knowledge you know, and expertise, which is why I think that it is very important and essential for our movement. There was just one thing. The master puppeteer had never seen Star Wars. Well, no problem. Tintoy introduced him to a galaxy far, far away. And Pak Daim was struck by its similarity to traditional Malaysian stories. The themes of the story, which is about good versus evil. In the uh, main story in Wayne Kulit, we have a very bad character, Ravan. Oh. And in a Star Wars movie, we have Darth Vader. He's also as a bad character. <laughs> Ram or Sri Rama is a very good character. And in the Star Wars, we have Skywalker as a good character. Since 2013, Tintoy and Pakdan have performed around a hundred shows all over the world, regenerating interest in this ancient art form. I hope by performing Star Wars story in Charlie, someday young generation happy to watch Wayne Kulit and hope they will enjoy watching Wayne Kulit and the arts of Wayne Kulit is not dying anymore. One of the reasons that we picked Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, as our first preview is because we feel the insight that what we are doing is a new hope for Wayang Kulit. Hey everybody, my name is Drew Beebe and I'm here in my terrible home studio that I've made during quarantine and I wanted to tell you about our new podcast called Great Big Story. It's got more surprising and delightful stories just like this one. So head over to Apple Podcasts, to Spotify, wherever you get your favorite podcasts and download Great Big Story.